Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here once again in Boston, wishing you a blessed time wherever you are. Truly hope you're finding reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, to see a positive day, positive future, choosing to be happy, and just appreciating everything and everyone around you. So, um... I did have intention of cleaning that again, and I didn't get to it. Um, my laundry's still in the bag over there. Right there, that little blue bag you see. Um, but I will get to it. And what I actually did today, just after getting out of the shower, is I'm trying to get reorganized in this thing here, this big, awkward-shaped thing. So anyway, this is what I've done, been doing. Alright, so I got things I want to save for, things I should be doing every day, things I need and want, um, money goals, <laughs> um, saving, you know, and this is just a rough draft, you know, I get a paid down credit card, so I want to pay off at least a thousand as soon as I can, save a thousand as soon as I can, you know, and then you see I got the house, the car, savings, cat, my husband, um, got my calendar back up. And as far as the, the to-do list, I'm going to try to think of like maybe a color coordinated thing that for each task I have a color so I can dot it for the day. And yes, I already got July up because June's almost over. And I haven't touched this in a couple months to be honest with you. So that's what's going on now. And... Since I got that done, now I have to get ready for work. Yay! Keep going, Gigi. Good, Gigi. Okay. Time for bed. Let's go. Night, Gigi. Love you. I hope I hope you enjoyed that, my little niece, Gigi. Ain't she cute? That was from last night. I threw that in there because uh, I know I can be a little boring, and I know she can be cute and silly and adorable. So that's why I put her in and. I just was trying to figure out something else that I can put in here besides me just being here boringly ch chatting like I am now. <laughs> um, and, you know, the beginning of the vlog, you saw that uh, I did my, uh, my dry erase board. And I haven't touched that thing for months. You know, probably since I think the last month that was on there was March. <laughs> so, um... But I got a little motiv motivated by Yusuf last night, a.k.a. Fuzi. Um, I was watching him on You Now. Um, I was trying to respond to him, you know, but, you know, there's thousands of people trying to talk to him all at once, so he wasn't seeing everything. But, um, you know, if it wasn't for me starting to watch his vlogs, among a few others, you know... I wouldn't even have the erase board or the dream board. You know, he's a firm believer of the law of attraction. And I've always been interested in it and believed it to an extent. But it wasn't until last year when I started watching him during his 90-day challenge. I think I started just before that, but I got into his vlogs heavily during the 90-day challenge. And Fuzi, if you catch this, you know, train me. Give me some pointers. I want to do the 90-day challenge. I keep fluctuating between um, 240 and 230. 
I want to get down to at least 200 just to start. My end goal, would, would I would love <laughs> the circus people are trying to get there at the last minute. Because if they don't get there now, they're going to be locked out until intermission. And so, so, but, um, <laughs> I'm just watching some of the people walk by a little annoyed because they got there late. They don't know where they're going. But, um, but yeah, no, he, he got me, you know, more motivated to, to put up the, the boards and stuff. And I'm not going to just blame the fasting like I have this week. But I've had a lot on my mind as well and try to really organize and figure out what I need to do and, you know, settle myself down um, as far as the, the new, you know, doing this new job, trying to figure out what my money's going to look like so I know what I can save for, what I want to do, because, like I said the other night, after talking to the owner of the new company, the new job that I have, you know... Again, with Zuku and with this new job, you know, I just see really good things happening, you know, especially by the end of this year. But I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying to stay without jumping the gun too much. I want to be excited about those things as if they're already happening, but not act as if they did happen and I can go buy whatever I want because I want to go buy a folding bike. I want to, you know... I want to do so many things that require money in. At this very moment, I got to pay off uh, two credit cards. I want to get at least $1,000 to start saved in my account, and I'm inching my way up there. If you saw the numbers at the bottom of the washboard, those were not, um, that's how much I got saved so far and how much I've paid towards my credit card so far. I'm really trying hard not to use my credit cards, but I get that itch. There's a few things that I feel like I need that I don't have the money for right now. I might actually have to use one of my credit cards because my brother ne never gave me f uh, one of my brothers never gave me food money for this uh, this uh, month, and um, somebody needs to go food shopping in in the next couple of days, so. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something. Maybe we don't have to do much. <sighs> Overall, my energy's actually been pretty good today. I, I think I'm getting tired now, not just because of, not, uh, because of fasting, but because I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. Um, and I'm not really doing much except this. So, you know, when you sit stagnant for a while, you know, it's easy for you to kind of start wanting to doze off and sleep or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, so I'm going to end this vlog, but before I do, I kind of wanted to bring something up since we're in the middle of Ramadan vlogs and everything that... Last couple of weeks, my mother's been asking me, when are you going to go to the mosque again? When are you going to go? Because I want to go. Mind you, my mother is not Muslim. She's Catholic. It, but she's come to the mosque with me once or twice, and she enjoys it. She feels comfortable there. She's not going to convert because, you know, she believes, you know, in Catholicism and whatever, but she likes how she feels when she's at the mosque. And because she's been going through a lot lately, she's been asking me, when am I going to go? When am I going to go? Unfortunately, because of work at the moment, I haven't been able to go to the mosque. But the, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because it shows you that it shouldn't matter what your religion is, you know, whether you're Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, Catholic, Christian, Mormon, you know, for the exception of maybe Buddhism, a house of God is a house of God, no matter if you call it a temple, a mosque, or a church. Like I said, my mother won't, is not going to convert. 
but she sees it as a house of God and a place that she enjoys going, as well as going to her own, her own church. You know, she's not she's not fully practice fully practicing Catholic. She doesn't read the Bible on a regular basis. She doesn't go to church on a regular basis, but she's looking for some direction and um, a way to reconnect with herself and with God. And she can go to church on Sundays, but she also asked about when am I going to go next to the mosque, you know, on Friday or even during the week. She goes, isn't it open during the week? Um, Things get run a little differently during the week as far as the mosque is concerned. But, you know, as soon as my schedule changes and I have the time to do it, I will be bringing her. But I wanted to, again, bring this up. You know, just as a reminder that it shouldn't matter what your faith is, what church you, you know, what religion you belong to, that it's interchangeable. We're all connected. We're all praying to the same God. Whether you call him God, whether you call him the Almighty, whether you call him Allah. Allah is just the Arabic word for God. Not a different God. The God, because there is only one God, and there is only one faith. It's man that divided, you know, religion. Because even in more, even in the respected religions, there's division in people believing in the way they interpret, you know, the holy books and the message of God. Anyway, I'm gonna end it. That's my two cents for today for the Ramadan vlogs. Uh, I truly hope you're having a blessed time. Until next time, as always, like, love, share, and inspire. Much love.